Well, it is Friday, the Friday before Super Bowl Sunday, and I am back in the office. I was actually in Philadelphia this morning representing a client, and then came back to the office in Morristown, New Jersey, to see some clients in the afternoon session. Like always, it was a very busy week for our law firm in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. I went as far as Monroe County in Pennsylvania to as far as Cape May County in New Jersey, in addition to a number of clients in the office. Came up with a lot of blog articles this week regarding common offenses and crimes that we see revolving around Super Bowl Sunday. And the reason why we've done this is because like any event, Super Bowl being no different, we understand that a criminal offense can happen at any time or place. And the point behind those articles is to detail the most common offenses that we see happening on Super Bowl Sunday. And those can range from the sort of the conduct to criminal mischief to underage drinking to the traditional DUI and DWI in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. We understand that a lot of people will be out and about on Super Bowl Sunday and perhaps the night before and uh, the morning after. I know that a lot of schools, I I disagree with, with the decision they're, they're giving two hour delays and they're really putting more, uh, making it more problematic for parents than they are for the schools because a lot of parents, myself included, do not have the option of simply giving a two hour delay for a lot of cases that have been scheduled for Monday and courts, to the best of my knowledge, aren't giving two hours delay to anyone. And if you have a case on Monday morning, I can assure you that if you show up two hours late, uh, I can guarantee the judge isn't going to be too happy and it may result in a bench warrant. Now, again, this isn't something that our law firm can't fix, but why put yourself in that situation? Don't use the Eagles game as an excuse to show up late to the court. Keep it professional as always. Obviously, I'm not telling anyone not to enjoy the game, but understand that there are things that obviously take precedent over the Eagles game. And I feel very comfortable saying that to my clients and their families that right now, unfortunately, if you're dealing with a criminal issue, whether it be in Pennsylvania and New Jersey, that has to be your focus. And if you have an opportunity to enjoy the game for a couple hours, that's great. If not, that's just the way it has to be for now. And hopefully we will be at a point where later on you can enjoy many Super Bowls to come and many games and many events with your family and friends. But unfortunately for many people, for a lot of my clients, Monday morning is not going to be something that we can take lightly. And if you have a case Monday morning, I'm just encouraging whether or not you're my client or not, just to be on time, uh, be dressed appropriately, no jerseys, no jeans, no sneakers. This is just, these are just common things that you need to do. And really, when I hear lawyers saying that they wear jeans to the office and they wear sneakers to the office and it's not a big deal how they dress, well, I disagree totally that, that the way you dress, the way you present to the public, the way you present to a courtroom starts with nonverbal communication, and I can't emphasize that enough. So if you have a court case, come to court dressed appropriately. With regards to common offenses, if you are stopped for suspicion of DUI in Pennsylvania or DWI in New Jersey, do not refuse a chemical test and never help your criminal case. In addition, I did put out a blog or, or one of my blogs, I put out the eluding charge from police. If police give you a command to stop, stop. Do not continue to drive the vehicle. Do not accelerate. Do not do anything that's going to make it make the case worse or allow the prosecution if case does go to try to argue some type of consciousness of guilt, which is a very, very common argument. In addition, if you escalate the chase, and police have to increase the speed of their vehicles. The case goes from a misdemeanor to a felony, and there's a substantial difference between a felony charge and a misdemeanor charge, both in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. But if you have questions, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, 856-793-7429 in New Jersey, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, website, gambolenlaw.com. As always, a tremendous resource for you and your family. All my books, my blogs, my videos, and my podcast is available there. Our latest podcast came out this week with Cape May County Herald reporter Shay Roddy. Shay talked about the challenges that he has in Cape May covering stories. In addition, our weekly update went out today to over 4,000 
of our current and former clients in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Obviously, the point of the e-update this week, we covered a lot on the Super Bowl, but there, are, but there is a link to our podcast, and you can sign up for our update at GamboneLaw.com. And through the e-update, which we shared on our social media, you can do that right from the links. Uh, the links go right to our website. The podcast, we're very proud of it. We feature attorneys and not attorneys talk about very, very interesting subjects and areas outside of the world of criminal defense because we understand that it's important to our clients and our families. Topics like immigration, family law, civil rights, personal injury, workers' compensation, we talk about it all in the podcast. But again, if you have questions, 215-755-9000 in Pennsylvania, 856-793-7429 in New Jersey, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Please enjoy the Super Bowl responsibly. We, we wish to fill up the Eagles the best of luck. And I'll talk to you all very soon.